due to government reg recommendations, there is to be no gatherings of more than 10 people in these next 15 days. And the four and el twenty elders fell down and worshipped him that liveth forever and ever. And of the Lamb, forever the and chapter, ever. Chapter and the four beasts that said, Amen. And the four and el twenty the elders fell down and worshipped him that liveth forever. Revelation and chapter 20. And the elders fell down and worshipped him that liveth forever. They had come to sin without being cut off from their particular group or clique or whatever. Thank you for coming today to honor the life and uh, the memory, the legacy of Dr. Clark Secoy Foreman. As I sit here trying to express some of the feelings, I get emotional remembering his magnificent smile and compassionate demeanor. There are so many amazing memories for me that I find it hard to put them all together. The and he said, hello, Clark. Are you ready for surgery? My dad said, yes, but may I share a couple of things with you first, doctor? The doctor agreed. And my dad said, doctor, I love the Lord with all my heart. I'm a born again believer. I've served Jesus for over 50 years. I'm ready to meet him today. So if I die on the operating table, it's okay. And I want you to know it's okay. May I, may I pray for you, please? The doctor agreed. And dad prayed. He got the whole plan of salvation in his prayer. How many of you remember when uh, granddaddy threw an entire bag of unlit fireworks into a fire pit at Jellystone, <laughs> thus lighting them? And I noticed someone was kneeling beside me and soon his arm was around me and he said, Pat, why have you come? And we mingled our tears together. How many of us? wouldn't be here today if Corky wouldn't responded to the invitation to 